Hello and welcome to Heaven's Mopars. Today is May 5th and I am doing a voiceover because my audio on the GoPro did not record for some reason except for the very last video. So I'm trying this to see how it works. I get to check the results of the dash frames that I had soaking in molasses and I finally get to see how they turned out. Um, I'm excited because my water level did not um, shrink on me. As many of you know, I have a hole in the plastic and it was slowly leaking out the water, but I somehow got that to seal up as I'm pointing out to the patch on the side right there. Drum roll, please. And here's the results as I'm slowly pulling it out of the stinky water. <laughs> I didn't want the stuff getting all over me, splashing all over everything. So I get to take a look at it and see how well it worked. I'm uh, currently looking for something to get this nasty stuff off my hands. It's very sticky. I forgot to bring a, a towel with me, so I just wiped it on the tarp and wiped the remaining stuff off on my pant legs. I'll wash them later. Lord knows I need to wash my pants again anyways. <laughs> um, so here, it obviously did not like eat it all off right away, so to speak. Uh, you do need to take a hose and hose it down because, you know, it's still sitting there. It didn't do as well as I thought it would be. I thought a lot of it would be gone, so to speak. Like, uh, if it was more acidic, you'd just pull it out and it'd be, you know, it's like, oh, it's gone. But it's still there. So here I'm test sampling a spot with my finger, um, the worst spot and I rubbed it nothing. I went to this other spot and I could see some, you know, wipe it right off right away because the rust wasn't as bad. And then I took a dry spot on my finger and wiped it off and it pretty much wiped it off right away. And then I did another spot where it was just real light and it just wiped right off as well. And so I noticed that it comes off in three stages. The light rust popped off real easy with just a little bit of rubbing it and then I paused it I went and grabbed a rag and um, and it wiped right off the heavier rust with a little bit of effort it came off and and then the really rusted spots you know it took quite a bit of effort to get that off but it still came off so it did penetrate it's just a matter of scrubbing it off now so that's what I got going and so I thought what I would do is uh, well here I'm testing another spot it's kind of hard to get in my hand inside of there so um, I'll kind of lightly scrubbed it down and then I'll just what I'll do is soak everything for about another week so I'll knock the big rusted spots off and then I will just soak it again to break the rust off the top so that it can get the underlying rust and let it soak for about another week. So here what I did was I grabbed my a tooth not my toothbrush <laughs> an old toothbrush and I wanted to see if it would come off with a soft bristle and I had to kind of scrub and I'm like nah I don't think this is working too well uh, so what I did was I rinsed it off to see and you could it got some of it off as you can kind of see there but that's not the result I wanted so I grabbed a, a wire brush and I scrubbed an area right here and with a little bit of effort uh, it came right off actually 
I was kind of disappointed because I did not want to spend all day brushing all of this rust off because I was wanting to put the firewall in on my duster instead. So this took up about an hour or two of my time to see how well these dashes came out. Then I worked on the duster later. Yeah, once I realized all the rust didn't come off right away, I thought, well, I'll just scrub everything real quick and then I'll just dunk them in there again. But here you can see what the wire brush did. I got most of it for the most part. Good things do take time. <laughs> lots of scrubbing, lots of patience. So here I thought I'd just rough everything up and go from there. I'll see if I can speed this up a little so it doesn't take so long. I did edit a lot of this out. I had probably about a half hour's worth of movies that I chopped down to about 11 minutes. So here I'm more or less showing you how much effort really that I'm putting into scrubbing. I'm not really scrubbing real hard or trying to get real deep with anything. I just want to break the top off so that I can just put it in there again and let the fermented molasses do its own thing. With the molasses, temperature wise, it's just above freezing at nighttime so that my the water doesn't freeze. And uh, But I think that if the temperature was warmer, it would probably ferment more or smell real bad because I didn't really notice a nasty smell like everyone else was saying so I don't think the the stuff is doing its job to its full potential um, so in the summertime I think it would probably do a lot better or have better results uh, in the background you notice that it's raining but I was thinking how funny it's been all nice and sunny the past couple days but when I go to pull them out it's all rainy and I was gonna joke and pull them out and say ha ah, interesting I pull them out and now they're gonna get all wet because of the rain <laughs> uh -huh. here you can see that there was uh, the green above the glove box area when I'd scratched that it took the paint right off of it because it's real thin, kind of like an overspray. And, it, but I was thinking, you know, who cares about that if it takes the paint off because here we are scrubbing it to get rust off. So if you got a nice painted object that you want to just try to get a little surface rust off, you know, if you do scrub this, it will take the paint off. So that probably not a good option for you if that's the case. You know, this is just for totally rusted parts that are all going to get primed anyway and painted. So uh, that's the B-body dash that I want to put in my 69 Coronet uh, Super B clone. Here I'm dunking it back in. Good night. Take another nap. <laughs> now I'll pull out the one for my 70 duster. And this one, it looked pretty good for the most part. This one has the worst rust between the two. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of rust. It's kind of surface rust throughout. But then on the top of the dash pad, it's got some real bad pitting around the VIN tag and stuff like that. Um, so with that, I may just have to hit that with a grinder, as I note in the very last video that I did the one that actually recorded with the volume. So I checked out my recordings, or trying to figure out why it recorded that way, but I just unplugged my, took the battery out and my, my card, and put everything back in. It must have reset or something, so that's good. 
Here I'm just scrubbing everything, just giving it a once over again. Showing you that I'm giving you about the same effort as I put into the last one. Pretty big pitting up in here. Nice flat spot I can get that out of the grinder. Been almost hard to reach stuff. Mm. That's pretty good. Well, thank you everyone for listening. That's it for uh, the video. It's about to end real soon. Thank you for watching. Take care, and I'm about to put this one to sleep too, and we will talk to you guys later. Take care. And we'll see how this does in another week. I'll look at it again on the 12th.